So it's a kind of remake of Visconti's Associoni. You and Julia are playing the lovers, Gino and Giovanna. And uh, Julia, Giovanna, persuades you to kill her husband, Brigana. And you're directing, Peter? Oh, absolutely. I'm playing the part of Brigana as well. I think it's a really exciting project. I can't wait to direct Julia again. I think you'll be perfect for the part. You too, Chris. It'll be wonderful, Peter. You're a fantastic director, and this is such a great part for me. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to go. Um, look over the script and talk about the characters. Chris. Take care of my wife. I look like a cook. You deserve to be a lady. Did you do it? Of course. As we planned? Yes. Where's his body? I set his car on fire. His body's burnt by now. There'll be no evidence. Good. Will we be alright? What? Of course. Don't worry, we'll be fine. I've taken care of everything. But we've killed a man! We've killed my husband! He's gone! He was a bastard! He didn't deserve you. He deserved to die. Okay, great guys. Mark it and cut it. Okay, shall we do the next scene? Can't you see how happy you and I would be together here without him? Do you love me, Cora? That's why you've got to help me. It's because I do love you. Yes, you know. Oh, you can me all right. Say yes to a thing like this here. Hmm. Fucking little yes, bitch. Thinks I don't know she's being fucked by that shitty little actor. Magazine said that the most serious accidents happen right in people's homes. Yeah, well. They're mostly right in their own bathtubs. When I think who I could have cast. <laughs> Nothing would please me more. It'd be so easy. I could watch that Christmas wanker bleeding and bleeding over my studio floor. By the time anybody had figured out what had happened, he'd be long gone. Too right. A tragic accident. A problem solved. And heaps of free advertising. Maybe we better save it. Don't 
don't change a word of it. We've got it all set, and I know it backwards. Yeah, well, I may do that. I'll tell you what. I'll toss a coin for it. Heads, it's a bullet. Tails, it's a blank. <laughs> yeah. Ciao. Triggered, blood, falls to the floor, more blood. Yes, I know. Are you okay, Chris? I guess. I've never been shot before. Uh, it's all right, Chris. Nobody dies for real in the movies. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this in one long shot. No cuts, no edits. So everyone stay in character, whatever happens, until I say cut. Absolute silence on the set, please. Nobody move while we're rolling. I don't want to fuck this up. Okay, camera, rolling. Marco. Processioni, scene 64, take one. And action. Ma quando l'ho incontrato, con la catena d'oro al taschino, ero rimasta senza lavoro. E mi faceva invitare a cena dalla gente di passaggio. Se sapessi che cosa vuol dire rimanere senza un soldo in mezzo alla strada, senza sapere dove sbattere la testa. E allora? Ma tu capisci cosa vuol dire farsi invitare a cena dagli uomini. Ho creduto di salvarmi con lui. Ma poi ho capito che era peggio di prima. È impossibile, capisci? 
viverli vicino così sporco, così finto. Che cosa me ne faccio io dei suoi denari? Se devo lavorare ancora in cucina. Ti sembro una cuoca io. Meriteresti di essere una signora tu. Tu mi capisci, è vero? Con te non ho bisogno di mentire. Tu sei giovane. Lo sai tu? Che cosa sia un uomo vecchio? No, ma me lo immagino. Non puoi immaginarlo. Non puoi sapere che cosa sia per una donna vivere con un uomo vecchio. Tutte le volte che mi tocca con quelle mani crasse, vorrei mettermi a urlare. <ride> 